Hey everybody, Ms. Dietrich here helping you on Lesson 11, Volume with Fractional Edge Lengths and Unit Cubes from Module 5 of Engage New York. Before we proceed with any difficult problem solving, there's a very important concept that you need to understand, and we're going to use this model here to help us understand it. If this represents one unit, and you have half, something that's half that size, one of the things that you need to know is how many of these you would need to make up the one unit. And I've used this little yellow model here to help you understand. Do you see how you would need eight of these to make up one of these if this represents a half a unit? Now likewise, sometimes you might need to know what if you have a third? Now let's take a look. How many of the cubes would you need to be equivalent to the one unit if this is a third of a unit? Well, we'd need 27. And you could take it a step further. We could break it up with 4. And then hopefully you realize that you would need 64 cubes if it's broken up that way. Or we could even go one step further. And you can see it's 5 going this way, 5 going this way, and 5 going this way. You would need 125 of those to make up one unit if we had one-fifth of it. So let's take this information and use it in a problem like this. How many half-inch cubes can fit in the figure? Now, if we were just going to proceed and find the volume of this, we would just go ahead and do volume equals length times width times height. And we would get maybe 10 is the length. The width, we would say, is 4. And then the height, we would say, is 6. And we would come up with 240 for, and that's square inches, or cubic inches, for this figure. Now remember, we said earlier that we can fit eight of these for every one of these. So if we have 240 of these, doesn't that mean that we would have to multiply that number by eight to get how many of these would be in the entire figure? And again, just to make sure you understand, that's because eight of these will fit into one of these. So let's go ahead and proceed. Here we get the 0. Here we get the 32. 16, 17, 18, 19. So in other words, the answer to this question, how many half-inch cubes can fit in the figure? It would be 1,920 of these that can fit in here. Now let's just pretend that this is not a half-inch cube, but let's say it's a third of an inch. Let's just talk about how you would do this differently. Let's go back. If it's a third of an inch, that means you could fit 27 of these in one of these. So uh, what you would have to do in that case is you would have to take this number and not multiply it by 8, but instead you would multiply it by 27, and you would get a completely different answer because it wouldn't be this anymore. And likewise, if it were 1 fourth of an inch, then you would have to multiply it by 64 because there's 64 of these in one cubic unit and so on. This is very important that you understand this because you're going to get a lot of problems uh, in the core standards demand that you really understand this idea of you know cubing things and there's a lot of problems that you're going to find like that. So your understanding of this is going to be very helpful. 